So we continue with the second round here at the European Darts Grand Prix. And introduce a player enjoying his second appearance in a Euro Tour event. A former winner on the PDC Challenge Tour, Matt Paget. We now bring to the stage a former German Darts Championship winner, seven televised finals, and a winner of 12 PDC ranking titles, Chizzy Dave Chisnall! Well, here comes Chizzy back on the European Tour after sitting out the Austrian Darts Open up against the punisher Matt Padgett, who punished Dimitri Vandenberg yesterday, a, a notable scalp for him on his return to European Tour Darts for a, a second event. And we'll have to perform another giant killing of sorts here if he's going to progress. The winner will face the man who won our first match very, very comfortably, although it didn't have to be that way, was handed a much easier ride by Madis Rasmari and White, but he awaits the winner. Dave Chisholm expected to come through, but Matt Padgett has already seen off one higher-ranked opponent. Dan, is he capable of seeing off another? Well, he's capable. He saw off Dimitri Vandenberg in that opening round, and there was some pretty good stuff from Padgett. I, I, will, I don't want to correct you, but I made the same mistake yesterday. Apparently, this... This nickname of the Punisher, apparently it's completely spurious. It floats around on the internet, but Matt was asked yesterday about it, and he just said, no, not, not, not my nickname at all. So What's his nickname then? I don't think he's got one. Just, just Padge. By the way, I didn't introduce you properly. Thank Welcome, you, Dan Dawson. First leg is Matt to throw first. Game on. But it is Matt Padge who will have the throw in this one against Dave Chisnell, a man who is due a win. He typically picks up a title every year, and often more than one. He's in double digits in terms of the number of PDC ranking titles he holds. He does have a Euro 64. Tour to his name, and he's made all number of finals in the European Tour, but it's a couple of years since he made a final. His most recent one was 2016 in Hamburg Jeez. against James Wade. So he's due. And his performances in the Players' Championship suggest that he's playing well enough to reach one, and maybe win one. But of course, this is the section of the draw with the world number one, Michael Van Gogh. Yep, has been hampered by an injury. Dave Chisnell, something that he's having to struggle along with. And as you said, because he hasn't won a title for a while, you can make the mistake of thinking that he's not playing very well. But actually, you look at his, the runs that he's had on the tour and the performances. Now we can collect the data on darkconnect.com. You see that Dave Chisnell is right up 99. there amongst the very best where he belongs. Well, you've got Ian White, who's number five in that list of averages. Dave Chisnell, who's number eight. Michael Van Gogh, who is top. 45. So over those ten players' championship events, and obviously MVG hasn't played them all, but that means that in this section of the draw alone, you've got three of the top ten in terms of the most consistent performers. 41. And we've seen already this year that Ian White is capable of taking out MVG. Alan Tabern, who will play Michael Van Gogh in tonight, threatened to beat him when they met on the Euro Tour a few weeks back. And Chizzy's got the game to beat anybody. Right now, it's Matt Padgett who's edging this opening leg. Yeah, you did his game yesterday, mentioned that style that he has built on the power. 97. Completely modelled on Phil Taylor, isn't it? The darts. The stance, the action. Not quite the results. No, no. That should require 63. Mm, okay. It's an old Whitlock ruse, isn't it? The old 25 from 63. Misses inside, 116 checkout required for Dave Chisnell. This is the sort of stuff Ian White was doing all the way through his game against Madis Rasma. Single 19. Chizzy. 96. Misses. Now you require 16. 
Sean the first uh, Patrick leg. Land, double eight. Same leg is Dave to throw first. Take the first Demon. leg against the number eight seed. I find it strange that these two hadn't crossed paths before. 100 and eight. Don't find that very strange though. Dave Chisnell fires in his first 180 and you can expect more. Yeah, yep, a master of the maximum, Dave Chisnell. Sorry, Dan, you were saying? Well, I mean, Matt Padgett has been around for a long while. I know he's dropped in and out of the full tour. <laughs> as he responds in Two. kind to Chiz. But they've never actually played against each oh, other, which seems ball. kind of odd. We thought there'd be a first or a second round game somewhere. Well, it has to be a first time for everything. And here he is, Padgett taking on Chizzy on the big stage. These European Tour events are really significant for all the players trying to progress their careers. I saw an interview with Mark Webster, and he was saying it's so, so important. He's missed the first six this year. Mm. And it's so 81. important in terms of earning the prize money, the ranking money to get into the big majors. Very tidy leg, this. Yeah, the second leg. Dave Very Chisnell. tidy indeed. 12 data for Dave Chisnell. Chisnell. Yeah, well, you put it in perspective, you make a final, it's like winning a Pro Tour event. If you just get through One this round, days. so seeded players, they win their first game, they're into the final level action, they've got three grand in the pocket. You've got to make a semi-final on a pro tour to get three grand. 43. Luke Bevin's doing his little sachet. He looks like a 10-pin bowler. The leg goes behind the other one. You just watch him when he steps across to check if a dart's in the target or not. 139. Oh, we didn't need to this time. Oh, keep an eye on Kirk Cam. 140. Got the close up on the treble. Camera shot there. Showing Dave Chisnell's darts. The difference in styles, how Chisnell stand to attention while Padgett's kind of bow down. Exactly the same Eight. as Taylor's used to do, as you'd expect, as he's throwing exactly the same. Mm. Yeah. Padgett looking to lay the darts on top of the previous ones. Chizzy looking to smash into them and land underneath. I don't want to lay one on top of that, but he yeah. has. <laughs> 62. Worked his way across, leaves himself a nice little two dart check out, but a check out that should guarantee one dart for the leg. Oh, cheers. 125. Surprising. That he didn't 80. fill it up. Well, the way that we spoke about his darts landing makes 80 a very good shot, although it doesn't matter about building on the 20s here. He landed the treble, which gave him two darts, and he only needed one at double 10. Well, I have to say, Matt Padgett, playing his first Euro Tour for years, he's acquitted himself very well. I mean, it was only a, almost a 90 average against Dimitri Vandenberg, but he was in charge of that game. And he is going toe to toe with Chizzy here, both averaging in the mid 90s. 42. He's not looked overawed at the prospect of getting up and playing because the last time he was on the Euro Tour, it was nothing like this. I know we've been at Sindelfingen once 90. a year, every year since the Euro Tour's inception in 2012, but the crowds have grown, the money has grown. 140. It's been a long while since we've seen Matt Padgett play on any kind of big stage in darts and just got on with the job. Now we've been speaking about how well Dave Chinton has been playing on the floor. It has been a while since we've seen him play that well on the big stage. Mm. To be honest, you go back to the Players' Championship beaten in the second round, World Championship first round, Masters out in the first round, UK Open out in the last 64. 81. There's a little asterisk against the World Championship, though, because that was against Vincent van der Voort, who played phenomenally against him. Chizzy, I think, lost with a 99 yep. average in that game. Given, but in terms of trying to get results, and yeah. the European Tour this year is only ever 99. won one match. Mm. Last time out, whitewashed by his potential second round, third round opponent, it would be here, Ian White. Um, and then opted to sit out of the Austrian darts open, didn't he? Uh, an injury problem that he's been having for some time. 
reoccurring, so it did seem like it had been sorted. But in this one, could be on the brink here of 93. going 3 1 line, down. And Padgett has the darts in the next leg. Big moment, this. Well, double 19, he tried to leave this earlier. And he can lay on top of that. And there we see the benefit of Matt Padgett, the way he throws his darts, some doubles, which might be awkward for other players. For him, they're slightly easier. Again, it's a double-edged sword. Some doubles are a little bit harder, which would be easier for other players. But I think maybe that is why Padgett tried to leave double 19 earlier on. He was happy leaving it there. Some players would have split it. But he just sticks one outside, lays one on top, gets a break of throw, he's 3-1 up on Chiz. That's a very interesting one game to come to down today. What takes your fancy? Well, Mervyn King against Paul Nicholson is one that catches the eye for me. Mervyn King has arrived at the venue. Well, that's a start. At half past one. one all right. For a game that is scheduled at around quarter past eight this evening. That is early, even for Mervyn King. 108! Uh, but also for me, Van der Voort, the man you mentioned, put in that brilliant performance against Dave Chisholm at Alexandra Palace, produced a fantastic one against Steve Lennon yesterday. And if he can replicate that, he could really give 45. the world champion Rob Cross problems in the very last match of the night. Six. Yeah, Rob has not been at his very best, has he? And it was kind of on the Euro Tour last year where Rob Cross, once he finally figured out how to qualify for them, this event was only his second European Tour event last year. But he made the quarterfinals of the first, he made the quarterfinals here, and that's when he really started showing that he could do it on big stages. But Obviously, we've seen him at the UK Open, but his campaigns were cut short by the eventual champions in both years. Well, has Padgett's advantage? Been cut short here. 103. Chisner looking to break straight back. I think he's preferred double of double 18 for the 1 2 1 combination. Leaving Maybe himself nine. that dodgy double Maybe 9. Not going for it. Despite splitting, he's ended up on double one, and that's if he returns. Well, there was thinking behind that from Chizzy, but it didn't pay off. The professor's gambit could have backfired there. We won't have to think much about which way to go for this one. He might be left reflecting on missed opportunities in this match because Padgett wants tops for a 4-1 lead. Has to move to the left. And finds a double dead centre. And Dave Chisholm's chances are dwindling away. They are, and there we see the converse of Matt Padgett going for the double 19. That was a trickier double because he's dark. Lay down, covered a bit of the bed, but he still found a way to just slide it alongside it. And the finishing from Padgett has been all right. You know, he's four out of eight, 50%. Pretty good. Dave Chisnell, he's having a madders. One out of eight. 85. Remember, no ranking money for seeded players who do not win their opening game. They get £2,000, but it's not ranking money. And that has ramifications for Dave Chisnell, because at the minute, the World Cup of Darts that's coming up, England will be represented by the world champion Rob Cross, number three in the world, and the number seven in the world, Dave Chisnell. But he has got Michael Smith breathing down his neck, and the bully boy desperately wants that spot in the World Cup team. You've also got to look at the seedings for these events. I know that Dave Chisholm is at number eight seed right now, but the 
further to add to his ranking, you've got this chasing pack that have picked up huge funds. The likes of Johnny Clayton and Max Hot by winning these events. And it's really getting bunched up around the race for the, the bottom half of seedings, if you like. Yeah, big weekend for any of those guys. I mean, obviously, Max Hop's not going to have a big weekend. I think by James Wade. But we've got players like John Henderson, and we'll see later. John Henderson in the seeds. What a birthday present for big Hendo. Celebrated his birthday yesterday. Will there be more celebrations for Hendo as he takes on James Wade in the penultimate game of the evening session? At the minute, Matt Padgett will fancy he's going to get a look at that 1-2-5 because Chizzy's finishing has not been good enough. But that is perfect. Yeah, much needed second leg on the board for Dave Chisnell. He's a, a very similar... 59. Feel it must be a very similar feeling for Matt Padgett as his game yesterday against Dimitri Vandenberg. He's got himself in front and his opponent hasn't really been threatening to do something really, really special and, and turn it around. But we know that Chisnell is capable of a blitz. Just wherever it comes. Yeah, and time's running out. And as Alan Tavern was saying to you on stage in his interview yesterday, all the players are capable of throwing three or four 15 dart legs. And if Padgett can throw a couple on throw, 100. should be enough to see him through. Well, at the minute, with Dave Chisnell averaging 90, he's taking six visits to the board to win a leg. A couple of 15 darters for Matt Padgett, whether he's on throw or not, might be enough. Six. Got it all on to produce a 15 darter here, though, Matt Padgett. He's going to have to throw three big trebles and then take out a ton plus checkout. 140. Yeah, and Chisnell down to a, a finish after nine. There is a chance to get a break <laughs> back, but Padgett might be doing exactly what you described, Dan. I am available for coaching. If anybody needs it. They're the three big trebles, but it might not be enough anyway because Chizzy's got double eight. And Dave Chisnell is starting to find the doubles. So we've got three big trebles and then a ton plus checkout. It was shared between the pair. They've misunderstood me. Had I offered that advice to Dave Chisnell, I would have then invoiced him following that 136 checkout. But maybe the adrenaline's just 41. a little bit high for Dave Chisnell there. Could have taken a moment because he's only kicked off 41. He gave himself a stern telling off, didn't he? Full name, David. When he landed that one in the big one. And Matthew might be thinking the same, unable to take advantage. First, see me, cheers. Well, I've been fascinated to see what the in-play markets were on this. You would think a four-one up, Paget must have been the favourite for this game. But as you say, you know that Chizzy has darts in his locker that Padgett is going to struggle to deal with if he can unlock them. Can he? 81. All three visits in this leg have seen one of his darts wasted in the one segment. 100. Having done the hard work of taking out 136 to break, he's handed the darts to his opponent in this leg. Again, wide right and frustration on the face of Dave Chisnell. That will calm him down a little bit. But he hasn't left a finish. And Padgett has half a dozen darts from here to move within one of the place in the last 16. 64. 
Okay, using the bullseye with the last dart to get him below 81. So Paget should get one dart for the leg. He might get two. Chizzy. 129. Would get two, you would think, if he's allowed back to the board. But is he? He might not be. Double ten. Huge opportunity miss. Top send for Dave Chisnell to level up this affair. Never been quite sure in this match where Dave, Dave Chisnell's game has been at because at times it's been sublime. There have been strings of missed darts at double. But now he's tied it up and it's a race to two. The insurance policy for Padgett is that he has the darts having won the ball in the practice room before it all started. You look at those numbers there, they're not dissimilar from Ian White and Madders Rasma. Gratuitous chicken shot. But the difference is, Ian White was taking out finishes and he was taking them out regularly from pretty much anywhere he was knocking him in off the lampshade chizzy has not and that has allowed paget to, to build this lead 100 raced through that visit dave chisnell got to find a break as chizzy he set up that last 16 clash with the diamond ian white Never can tell on these Euro Tour days, these second days. Some days we've turned up and we've seen pretty much all the seeded players make it through. Some days we've seen them more seeds go out than make it through to the last 16. There are obvious games that stand out over the two sessions where you think the seeded player could be in trouble. I think the next one between Jermaine Watamina and Yella Klaassen is a difficult one to call. But this one, with Matt Padgett playing only his first Euro Tour for years and Chizzy having gone the last few weekends just seemingly threatening to pick up another title he'd gone quarter-final semi-final then a final Safety. then a semi-final the following weekend this was one of the ones where he thought maybe the seeded player was safe but he is anything but on the other side of the coin it's not always a guide how a, a seeded player played in their first match that's how the tournament's going to pan out for them many a time we've seen michael van gerwin kind of fall over the line at this mm. stage on a saturday and then produce 95. exceptional stuff on the sunday yeah alan tabin gave him a worry cameron menzies gave him a worry won both of those oh my look at the room in that treble 20. oh he couldn't find it groans around the glass palast and the chance now for Dave Chisnell to take total control. It's going to be one dart. That double top. And he hasn't hit it. Does not want to hit the bullseye here. He doesn't want to hit the two either though. He does want to hit the bullseye now. <laughs> oh my word, Matt Padgett. Misses the bullseye by a mile with his first start. And with no margin for error, pins it last start. And he is edging closer to a shock win. 95. Well, that must have hurt, Dave, because I'm not sure if he was looking away or looking at the screen. As Padgett pinned the ball. Has to hold his throw here to force a last leg decider. And then has to either produce Six. something fantastic in it or hope that Padgett is off the boil in the pressure of a last leg shootout. Twice in this game, Dave Chisnell has had a dart to go into the lead. Once in the very first leg, he missed double top. And then just then, he's missed double top as well. 100. At no point 
as Matt Paget trailed. And as an underdog, that is a huge thing. It's one thing going and beating one of the best players in the world, world number seven. It's another thing having to come from behind and do it. Got his nose in front and stayed there. And has he secured a longer stay in Sindelfingen? 84. He's down to a finish first. It's an enormous one, and Dave Chisholm is going to be handily placed after this visit. 137. Matt Uruguay, 155. But he might not come back because treble 19, followed by double 19, will deny Dave Chisholm a shot. The fourth or last leg decider. But he does have that chance. It probably will be his last chance. This time, Tops is hit. Dave Chisnell, the world number seven, has already survived a match die. His manager, Rog, looking on. Known by the affectionate portmanteau, Chodge, Chizzy and Rog. But will Chizzy and Rog be going home? Very, very soon. Watching on anxiously. 99. Dave Chisnell's manager, as was Dave himself as his opponent, approached the OK. 93. And he mentioned that Padgett's led all the way through the match, Dan, but there's only one time where it's really, really important that you lead. And that's at the end of it. True. Matt Padgett won a there challenge tour. A couple of years back, won two grand. Made last 32 of the UK Open a couple of years before that, won two grand. His one appearance at the World Championship, he went out in the prelims, picked up three and a half grand. If he can get down to nil before Chizzy in this leg, he's on £3,000 with a possibility of a lot more to come. This is already one of the biggest paydays of his darting career. 121. And that visit brings him a big step closer. Oh, cheers. Oh, what a time for a Max! But it is still out of his hands right now, Chizzy. Padgett just needs to try and keep calm and carry on. Amongst the noise of the 180. After Dave Chisholm applied the pressure, and Padgett might have to do what he did in the previous leg and find two big trebles to get another match start. Because Chisnell is poised. He couldn't take out the 155, but he got very, very close. He is not going to get close to the 140, and that means that Padgett, having missed a match start, is going to have to survive a couple, you would think, from Chis. He's not swinging his arms. Doesn't want to look. Yeah, impatient to get to the hockey. 59. He just wants to get rid of this 45 and get rid of this pesky Padgett from the European Darts Grand Prix. Is it five and tops? That is the route. And it felt rushed. They were the darts of a panicking man. Yeah, it was like a jack-in-the-box in the background. And I think the analysis is right, it was rushed. Padgett is going to get another match start. No, he's not. No, he is not. Do 41. not miss the big Eight number, Matt Padgett. 20. Well, this time you see Dave Chisnell just take an extra moment, calm himself down. And that Game is stop. the result, and, and the result is 6-5 to Dave Chisnell, but it's been an act of survival from the number eight seed who will move through to take on Ian White tomorrow in the last 16. Padgett had Dave Chisnell on the run, missed the match start, denied himself another at the bullseye in the final leg, and in the end, Dave Chisnell 
falls over the line but will be in the Sunday session here at the European Darts Grand Prix. The Saturday session continues in a few moments with Yella Klaassen against Jermaine Watermana. But first, we'll hear Dave Chisnell's analysis as he talks to Dan Dawson. You have found a way to win that. You were behind right the way through until the very last arc. Yeah, I was, I was a bit poor there. I think he deserved to win that game, but that's a dart. You've got to keep, keep plugging, and that's what I did. And when I missed the 40, and he missed the 155, was it 155? I thought, no, he's, he lit this, but he didn't, so he gave me a shot, and only had two good scores in that left leg. And they got me the win. You've been threatening to pick up another title this year, quarter-final, semi-final, final. You're probably due one, aren't you? Yeah, I'm due one, but it's, it's so tough. You're picking these semi-finals, but you're playing the best players in the world, so you're just glad to get to the semi-finals, but obviously I've been unlucky in a few, and um, I'm off to do well this weekend. A bad start, but could be a good ending. Ian White up next for you. You've played him in a final already this year. You played him on the Euro Tour in the last 16 game and it didn't go well. Bit of revenge on the cards? No, I never said that, me. You just play the players in front of you and let, let the best man win. Dave Chisnell safely through to the last 16. He will face the diamond Ian White for a place in the quarterfinals this weekend. <laughs> 